I got nothing better to do right now than go ahead and take the intake off the Beamer because all my shit's dead. Like literally, everything here is basically fucking dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's fucking dying. She's actually alive, but... Got a flat tire in her. Had to throw on the... Jesus Christ. So, make a little video. Um, taking the... I gotta put a starter in this thing. Starter's bad. And this is literally day two after I replaced the um, fuel pressure regulator in this thing. So, make a little video on how to remove the, uh, the intake manifold on this thing. And then you can clean your intake valves and all that good shit. So, a little educational video for y'all today. This is it. I've cheated a little bit already. I took both of the... Uh, Pay no mind how messy that toolbox is, but I took my dual cone intake off already. Um, so, I ain't really gotta do that. Um, I don't even know if, yeah, if they are bolted in, so. Fuck, well. I'm not gonna lie, this sounded good in theory, but then you come out here and you look at all the fucking plastic that you don't think about having to take off, but you have to fucking take off. And then it makes you just want to go right back in the house and shut the goddamn garage door, which is what we're going to do. Fuck that today. We're, we're not doing it. Fuck that. Later. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I got to fucking do it. Uh, good one, though, right? So we're going to go to our trusty, dusty. I'm not going to show you how dirty it is. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to grab our... Even though it's daylight outside, this does kind of help illuminate shit a tiny little bit. Really for y'all, not even for me. I could do this blindfolded. I say that, but I'm just kidding. Don't don't listen to me right now. Cause, well, I just hope the car gods aren't listening to me right now. Because they will... Car gods will fuck you. Very quickly. Um, especially if you get cocky. So Always remember, rule number one of fixing a car is never get cocky. Car gods will punish the shit out of you every time. Alright, let me set this bad boy up so we can actually see what I'm doing here. Kinda, sorta. Maybe if we can get a good spot, I'll edit all this out. Don't y'all worry, or I might just leave it because it's kind of funny. Alright. Oh, fuck. Fuck. You think I could do this without taking the fucking towel off? I mean, what a bitch. Alright, fuck it, we're gonna do it. Alright, remember folks, during this pandemic, everybody, please, stay six feet apart. My normal toolbox is in the back of my truck, but this is all Adam shit, and he's not here right now, so... We're just going to use his shit. Probably not, though, because I think all he has is some star bits in there. Um, yep, we're going to use this one. I fuck him right. Is he listening? Do you think he's watching? If he's watching, I take that back. If he's not, if he ain't here, fuck him. He ain't here. Fuck him. I mean, this thing's missing a bunch of, uh, you know, little eight mils. But all these holes that you see would have normally have eight mils in them. But you know, we ain't we ain't about that life here. Um, we really could give a fuck less about this. All right. So I got my whopping two out of um, two, three, two out of six. All right, that's gone. This is your, where your cabin filters sit. Very clean. Very, very clean. I'll put a little screws right there. Hopefully we don't forget about them. 
Alright, this little box has to come off. There's a little tabby right down here. Um, and right there. You just pull up on this tab. Bloop. And then the back side's got one. I know you can't see, but bloop, we got that up. Don't treat your stuff like I do. Same thing on this side. Tab. Tab. And she's out for good measure. There's a neighbor's cat. Very cool. I don't think this thing is even a uh, new. Nope. Definitely not. All right, so these wiring, this harness just slides off of that. It, these little things clip into those little things up there. And then this all just slides out nice and easy. And then this one pops off. I need a screwdriver because I don't know if I could do this one hand. Oh, nope, I got it. All right, so bam. And then this side just slides forward as well. Maybe. Let me switch hands. All right, why am I not out? Uh, I'll probably have to push up on this one with the fucking screwdriver, but we were hoping and praying that we we'll just pop out. We could just unpop this actually. Just pull these little tabs down and then pull that out of there. And bam, she's off. I cheated. You might not have that much luck, but it's because you're not me. All right, it's a little bit better. It wasn't so bad. I mean, it sucks for anybody that has all their bolts in it, obviously. And if you own one of these cars, you should know, never put all the bolts back in because you will have to take it the fuck back apart again very soon after you just put it together. So it's pointless. Don't put any bolts in it. You'll be fine. You'll be better off that way. All right, now I need a couple little fivesies. Pretty sure they're fivesies, but to be honest with you, I don't feel like digging through my other box for some fives, so I'm just going to use a... Don't be like me. Go find the right tool, please. But for me, I'm just going to find me a little torques that fits in there and they're probably just finger tight anyway i mean it's just it's not super important see got me a little torx fit in there barely but i was able to turn it oh my god your shit was only finger tight and you're driving that car down the road yes i am Fuck you. <laughs> Interesting enough, that is all soundproofing material. If you start the car without this, it sounds just like a diesel because it is a mechanical injection and these injectors are loud as fuck. I literally just did the valve cover gasket, all new vacuum lines, um, you name it. So. This isn't my daily driver either. If yours is your daily driver, you know, you should probably uh, take a little bit better care of it than I do mine. But this is like my, this is just basically my toy. Um, so I didn't put all the shit back together exactly how it's supposed to go back together. I re-engineered it to be easier to take back apart when I break it again. So you could take a page out of my book and do exactly what I did or... You can spend all the time to put the shit all back together, but you will take it apart again one day. All right, so vacuum line right here. Now you just squeeze these little tabs and you pull that off. Bam, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Um, no, I don't have any of my. I know, I know, y'all. Somebody's gonna slay me. But I don't have any of my little clips on here that clip to the fuel rail and then hold your O2 sensor um, connectors and all that shit just because I don't need them. But um, you might, so, you know, think about that. Um, so, there's a few more things that I'm sure 
All right, I'm gonna have to get this Torx bolt, this Torx bit out right here, because this holds the charge pipe solid. I don't know, it looks like maybe a T30. I, I'm not really good with my Torxes. Um, you know, it's either, it's either, it's probably a T40 now that I look at these. So we got a, we got a T40 right here. Let's see if I got lucky. No, no, I, I was probably right the first time, you know? Jesus. Jesus. Don't tell anybody. There's one of my intakes on the ground. No big deal. No, no, it's really no big deal. Yeah, a little T30. My luck, it's a T35. Nope. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so now we need a, this is a quarter inch drive, so... Got that. Got this. my sweet um i don't know if that'll focus there but that's a snap-on um husky edition all right so we're just gonna crack this loose get that guy out of there so that way the charge pipe will be somewhat free the throttle body over there. Where is it? There we go. Found it. All right, we're almost. I think we're we're out. So we're gonna put this somewhere super safe and secure. Bam, bam. I forgot to mention that you're gonna want to unplug the battery. I have not done that yet, but it is never too late. So to do that, you're gonna pop your trunk. And if you have one of these cars, this thing's probably already off of it because you have a lot of problems anyway. And then you're just gonna, I think mine's loose. Remember folks, I had to diag this the other day and fuck with it. So, you know, I knew that I was gonna take it apart. So I didn't put it all the way back together. Yada, man, yada, man, yada. Minyada, minyada, minyada. All right, because you don't want to hit this guy with anything, because you know there's power there. There's also power on the on the starter, so this clip has to slide out of here. You could just do that with your fingies. All right, then you got. Let me get this lined up here. You can take your oil sensor or sender sensor out of here bam all you do push in on this and pull it back that easy oh complex german cars so i think that is a that's an 11 maybe and then i think the rest of these are 12. So let's get this map sensor unplugged mine is uh i think broken so it doesn't actually clip in anything anymore, which makes it super fucking convenient to, you know, I reverse engineered it. That's, that's what happened. I just took their idea and made it better. Um, so bam, there we go. We're done. Now we go inside and chill. It'll start. Just kidding. Just kidding. I have an electric ratchet, but, uh. I think it's deader than a door now. So we're gonna see if we can just use a uh, this bit on this 11 on this Milwaukee fuel impact driver. Might need an extension, not sure. So first things first, we're gonna hit this 11. And that's unbolted. And then we're gonna check and see if these are also 11s. Oh, I think they are. All right, so I'm actually gonna have to put this down right here so I can catch these nuts. And not drop them. So I'm gonna set you up. 
And I know you can't really see exactly what I'm doing very well, but I'm just going to go down the line and uh, unbolt. If I could get this thing set. I'm just going to go down the line and unbolt all of those uh, nuts on top of the intake manifold. So I have one. One nut in my hand. I'm not going to let it get to two. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I fucking have two nuts in my hands. How cool is that? Three B. Four B. Oh, this one I think was a. I mean, it's not bad, but like, you don't want to break. Listen, I know I don't seem like I give a fuck about breaking stuff, but there is some shit that you uh really don't want to break and that plastic tube back there is one thing that I've always already broken this guy right back here I broke that and to buy a new one it cost me like $80 um, from the old Beamer dealership so you really just don't want to break it because it's expensive not because it has any you know significant meaning but uh you just don't want to break it. So I'm going to go get a little extension real quick. You could come with me. Don't look at my tag number. This is my normal box, I guess, and normal mess, but... Like I said, we're just using Adam shit because it's a little more convenient. Less walking distance. Alright, got a little wobble extension. Just gonna slide that in there. And then we're just gonna take that last one off. I gotta put you down again so I don't drop a nut. You don't want to lose any of these nuts. You'll be nutless. And nobody wants that. Okay. All right, let's go. Put our nuts down. Here's our pile of organized nuts. You like that? Looks beautiful. So. You know, we really got to wiggle this uh, charge pipe off of here. Probably should have left the bolt in the... Uh, I did. You see how smart I am? I left one in there. Nope, not there. Down there. You can't see it. But I left one in there. I did that on purpose. Promise. Gotta figure out where to put y'all again. So I can wiggle jiggle. On me. We do have another map sensor down here amidst all this plastic, but I just can't see the top of it. Okay. I'm 
No big deal. That's okay. That is okay. You got a couple vacuum lines. I should probably bring you back over here so you can see. Um, I'm trying to remember if I cheated last time I did one of these or if I did it the right way. But you have a line, a nipple on the manifold, and then you got a harder plastic line right in here that you're supposed to just be able to squeeze these ends and wiggle off, but easier said than done with a, you know, one hand, really. easier if I just put you all down, but I don't want to cause you to miss any of this um, amazing work I'm doing here. Oh shit, I almost dropped y'all. Alright, I got the hard line off. I just squeezed it. I'm pretty sure I can leave the soft line on there. And then just kind of flip the you know, flip the intake out of the way and not actually pull it all the way out of here. So, don't tell anybody that I'm cheating, but I'm cheating. Get that last bolt. I mean, this isn't the ideal way to do it, people, but I just want to prove to you that it will work. Put you down for a second while I scoop my nut. Alright, I scooped my nut. And I know there's going to be a ton of people, oh my god, you're not supposed to do it like that. Or it's way easier if you do it like this. But we are 20 minutes into this video, and I believe we're about to be free. I'm going to have to put you down again to wiggle this. in here for the camera not the car said not ideal because you know you got to do a little more work to actually get it flipped up off the vehicle but if you look down in there I know you don't have any light but I can access the starter from where I'm at and yeah I mean hey for 21 minutes man it's not the not the end of the world if you do it like that so that's how I did it I'm gonna pause this real quick and uh Try to finagle it a little bit. Well, I could keep it rolling. Don't really matter. I ain't trying to hide nothing from y'all. Be like, oh my god, he he went ahead and unbolted everything else. Dirtier than a motherfucker. Let me grab my flashlight. I lied. My 
flashlight's dead. I have to use my camera's light, so I'm gonna pause this. Alright, I pulled it the rest of the way out. I know what y'all are thinking. Oh my god, he cheated. He didn't film it. He cheated. Um, all I had to do was slide this box off of the bottom of the intake and slide this guy off the um, bracket on the intake and she slid right out. So, didn't really cheat. Um, the box mounts on these prongs. You literally just push it that way. It'll come off. You got to wiggle it and pull it. Um, throttle positioning sensor. Poof, unplug. And uh, and then where's the there's the tab that that valve vacuum valve rides on right there. Rubber just slides over that. Unslide it. I wasn't gonna take it all the way out. I was just gonna reach back in there and do the starter. But upon further investigations. My um, intake valves are, I mean, you can't see down in there, but they're just downright fucking disgusting. Like, she need it, man. She need it, need it. So, that's what, uh, that's what my plan is. There's the starter. Easy to do from here. Two bolts in it. Uh, well, I take that back. One of the bolts is, is kind of a pain in the ass. That one right up top there. Damn, it's uh, it's kind of a bitch, but it's okay. I just unbolt the starter, and, and that's it for now. So I'm basically just covering these uh ports with some with some shop towels so shit don't fall down in the in the head and you know set me up even more for failure than I already set myself up for. Um you know just rip one and stick one. Now, I know a lot of people are probably gonna um rag on me but you know I mean this is kind of funny. Made it made you laugh so yeah, and I got it done. Haven't put the starter in yet. But, just had to get the intake manifold off. Just be careful. You don't break anything. I know I didn't look like I was being super careful, but I didn't break anything. So, just make sure you don't break nothing. And, uh, and it ain't that bad. You know? Took me 21 minutes. Maybe 27 minutes with having to slide that uh, electrical box off the back of this thing. But, it still wasn't that bad. So, best of luck to you. If y'all need any help. If y'all need any repair diagrams, feel free to hit me up on helpfixmycar.net. You could chat with me there. Um, if you need access to any of the uh, dealer repair procedures or got any questions about Impa or WinKFP um, or any of that stuff, uh, I'd be more than happy to help you. So www.helpfixmycar.net. You can find me there. Um, yeah, let me know if y'all need anything. Later.